Welcome everyone to the World Thunder game. My name is Iron Rifle and this is my first tips video. So if you have any suggestions or questions for me, let me know in the comments down below. So starting on, what you will see after your first time logging to the game is this tutorial window. When you can actually learn how to fly your aircraft, drop bombs, shoot enemy aircrafts and do all the fun stuff. If you, however, decide not to do this tutorial, like I'm doing now, you can always go back to it. It's uh, hidden here in the game modes panel and the tutorials. But for the tutorials, they are divided into two groups, the basic tutorials and advanced tutorial. Your tutorial mission will earn you uh, golden eagles. That's the premium currency used in the game. You can buy them for real money. And there are three of those missions. Each will earn you 70 of those golden eagles. And uh, they're uh, divided into the fighter, assault plane and the bomber. That's your primary three aircrafts that you will be flying in this game. Now going for the advanced tutorial. The advanced tutorial will show you your basic flight controls, how to land your aircraft, how to uh, torpedo an enemy ship, and how to perform a carrier landing and dive bombing. And those four tutorials will earn you 5,000 lions. Lions are your basic uh, basic currency in game on which you will repair your aircrafts, buy uh, resupply ammunition for your aircrafts, and buy new one. So that's your basic tutorial. I do recommend you do it uh, to familiarize yourself with all of the controls. So let's assume you did all of your tutorials and now you do want to test your skills against other players in real battle. Before you do that, I do think you need to check your research tree because there is something that the game designers didn't put straight away into the game for you. Those are your reserve aircrafts. They are basically your low tractors from World of Tanks. They have no repair costs. They are free to run, free to maintain. So, yeah, you get free of them. But what you don't know is that you have additional crew slots here. The first one cost 10,000 lions, this basic currency you have. And after you see your research tree, well, you see, okay, I have this Kitty Hawk here, which is a level 4 aircraft. I have this Havoc here, which is level 5. I get the Buffalo, which is level 1, but hey, what's here? Oh, it's a Kingfisher, and it's level 0, so... Uh, can I actually buy this aircraft? Yes, you can. You can order it, and then the game will ask you if you want to put it in an already existing crew slot, or do you want to put it in your new crew slot. So let's do it now. I will order this aircraft. It will cost me only 500 lions, so yeah. I did buy it. I can now put it into one of the existing crew slots or I can put it into service in the, with the new crew. So yeah, I will decide that I will put it into this new crew slot. What you can also see here is that the this new crew costs 10,000 credits but I need to pay 10,100 credits for it. Where is this difference coming from? Well, basically each crew needs to go for the training for the special aircraft they will be flying. So in the case, in the case of the Kingfisher, the tr crew train cost it's 100 lions and the game uh, automatically adds it when you try to put it into the service. So yeah, I will do that. Your new crew should undergo training to be able to operate this plane. This cost to hire and train new crew of this type of the plane cost 10,100 lions. Are you sure? Yes, I am. And here it is. 
my new Kingfisher in my new crew slot. You might ask why do I want to put those this aircraft in the new crew slot and not into existing one? Well, starting off, it only costs you 10,000 credits, this new crew slot. Second thing, uh, believe me, in your first 10 to 20 games, you will be dying a lot just learning how to fly those little aircrafts. So if you have the advantage of the one more aircraft in the battle, that means you will stay alive longer, which means you can try and you will earn more XP for the game. That's why I do recommend you do the tutorials, because after you finish them, you can immediately buy this second crew slot in uh, one country Air Force, of course. But if you see here, I do believe that the Germans... No, Germans only... Oh, yeah, Germans have four reserve aircrafts. And what you can see here is only you have only three crew slots. So putting this extra one this Henkel uh, 51C1 late version into your free crew slot here will only cost you 10,000 lions. So that that's it's good. That is good for you. One extra aircraft in the air during the battle, always more XP for you. That means you will earn experience faster and you can progress to level one, level two, level three aircrafts with that nation. And believe me, the true fun starts at the higher levels. So, that would be it for today. Yes, I know it will be a short video. Yes, I know you will be complaining about it. But it's my first video. I do need to see if there is any response from you guys. If you like it, if you don't like it, if you want to see more of it or if you see me doing some special subjects or is anything in-game that particularly interests you like crew skills, uh, airplane equipment, other stuff like that let me know, uh, you can find me in-game although I do prefer you will leave a comment here or send me a message through the YouTube I do also do uh, live streams on the Twitch TV. So, take care and Iron Rifle out!